remember I was 16 coming to New York for the first time studying architecture back then and uh, one of the things I had to see was like the Guggenheim Museum you know I remember going there and really being amazed about the building I remember walking down Madison Avenue going to Barney's you know Pharrell and, and Nigo were like the pioneers of luxury streetwear back then from that moment I started realizing like I want to do something in fashion one day Sara? Look, look from here, like how you see, this is such a minimalistic building, right? And like, out of its time, you know, like this could be like back in the days, it could be in the future, you know? And then how you see like the contrast between this other building next door, how it's like super New York vibe. In New York is one of my favorite cities in the world. You know, the whole energy here and the vibe, it's just people work hard and play hard and it's so inspirational. Being in Barney's, it's a whole, it's a whole thing, you know? As a designer and person that loves product, you just want to create more than just footwear. I really like how they style this piece, you know, this with the yellow hoodie, the green pants, the, the multicolored Tyvek jacket and the shoes. It's amazing to see it, how it comes together. When it comes to the clothing, it really had to fit together with the shoes. And I think that was one of the challenges is that we're a footwear brand and to do clothing is not natural for brands to do. So here you see like a super technical light nylon that we use for these panel pants for a very active and sportive way of, uh, of wearing it. We try to be more than just a brand that does hoodies and t-shirts. It's not just to make more money or make more product. It's you know, to, to expand the universe of the brand. Younger kids now, they have a different budget than back in the days and they're willing to spend it on how they dress. A bigger group of, of the youth is buying, you know, a Rick Owens jacket over a, uh, over a PlayStation right now. I feel that, like, I have a dream of um, making this brand into an international, you know, fashion house one day where we do, you know, shoes and bags and, and, and other leather accessories and, and like full ready to wear lines, do a women's line, do a men's line, maybe do a unisex line. Last week I had a meeting with my partner and the team and we have a beautiful office in Amsterdam and actually when we came in like two years ago I felt like okay this is going to be the right size for the future, you know, even if we're going to hire more people this is it for like the next five to ten years. And uh, we just had a meeting, it's like, yo guys, we, we need more people and we need a bigger space. And we don't have a design place now for ready to wear, which is like, we're in between like shoes, the footwear department, and like, it's, it's a whole thing, it's a whole mess. You know, everything is changing. A good friend of mine uh, said, uh, you know, within this industry, there's a lot of brands that like the fried cooking, you know, like deep frying. And I'm just here to slow cook for the long term. And I think that that's one of the goals just to create a platform for the brand that we can live off for as long as possible.